Hello everyone. Welcome to video lecture series of computer organization and architecture. This is the introduction to COA means what do you mean by computer organization? What do you mean by computer architecture? And what is the difference between these two? Let us begin. First, to understand computer organization, how to define it? See, computer organization means you have to explain how the operational units are interconnected. Means the operational unit, if you are talking about a general purpose computer, so how all the units are interconnected. And it implements the provided computer architecture. Means first computer architecture must be available, then only it is going to implement it. So computer organization deals how to do. This is what you can explain. An organization is actually features which are implemented like control signals, interfaces, memory technology. Means if there is any hardware which is to be multiplied, which, which function is to multiply and how the repetition addition is being done, that is the task which is being utilized by the organization when it has been implemented. Now, computer architecture. Computer architecture, you can understand like it's a blueprint or something to design and implementation. Means if you're talking about a computer system, so it's blueprint for the design and implementation that is known as a computer architecture. And it actually provides the details and behavior of a computer system and it comes before the computer organization. Means first architecture must be available, then computer organization can be understood. And computer architecture, it deals what to do, right? So computer has to think about what is to be done related to the design and implementation. Architecture, if we talk about means it is related to some of the attributes, qualities which are actually visible to the programmer. So when we are talking about the attributes, what are available to the programmers? Definitely there must be some instruction set. Number of bits which is used to represent the data, how the data is being represented, input, output, mechanism, port, which kind of addressing mode is being used. So these are all the parameters or the attributes which are required related to the architecture. Now, let's discuss about the computer architecture versus computer organization. Till now, you must be aware that there is a difference in between the architecture and the organization. So how to differentiate it further or on more details. So computer architecture, it deals actually with a way or the technique, the hardware components are connected together to form a computer system. So it is a process over here. While computer organization, it is concerned with the structure and behavior of a computer, right? It means, or you can say, architecture acts an interface between hardware and software while organization deals the components connection in the system, how the components are interconnected. Architecture helps us to understand the overall functionality of a system while organization tells us how the units are arranged and interconnected. So this is about the arrangement and the architecture is about to understand the functionality. Organization expresses realization of architecture while computer architecture here a programmer can view or observe the architecture in the terms of available attributes and the attributes may be instructions, addressing modes, number of bits required to represent the data, register. So these are the attributes. Next point is while designing a computer system, architecture is considered first. I have already told you first architecture is required, then organization can be done on the basis of the architecture. Computer architecture deals with high level design issues while organization deals with the low level design issues 
and architecture involves logic like the instruction set, addressing modes, data type, optimization. Why organization involves the physical components? Because here we are talking about the interconnection, how these uh, units are interconnected and arranged. It means the circuit design, adders, signals, peripherals, all of these things are related to the computer organization. So I hope now you must be able to differentiate clearly in between the computer architecture and computer organization. Now let's talk about some of the computer organization and architecture important topics. If you have to deal with this, what are the important terms? See, first, you must be aware with this system functional unit means how, what are the functional units of a digital systems, how they are interconnected, what is bus, how many types of buses are there and even the concept of bus arbitration also. Memory organization, the second topic which you must be aware about the computer organization and architecture mm -hmm. means primary memory, secondary memory, then RAM, ROM, memory organization for two dimensional, 2.5 dimensional, concept of cache memory, auxiliary memory, virtual memory. So all of these things are required. It is also related with the instruction cycle, how the instruction is being executed, how the overall cycle is being represented. Bus system, I've already told you that there are three types of buses means system bus consists of three types of buses, address bus, data bus and the control buses. Then computer software and hardware, it must be known, must be available for the programmer. Addressing modes, how the information instructions is being executed, how the data transfer is being done. So in what way it is to be expressed. Then there is a requirement of the instruction formats also. There is a and related to the computer organization and architecture, how the machines are communicating and they will be able to uh, accept and execute the data. So accordingly, instruction format is required. CPU micro architecture, architecture you must be aware with which particular kind of register organization, stack organization and other architecture related things. So this is about some of the important things which are directly related to the computer organization and architecture and you must be aware with it. Thank you so much for watching this video.